Alright, welcome to part 4 in my How to Solve a Rubik's Cube tutorial. In the last video, you saw how we could solve the first layer by solving the cross and then properly orienting the appropriate center, uh, corners. I'm sorry. Now, we're on to the second step in solving the Rubik's Cube, which is going to be to solve this middle layer. So, solving this middle layer is actually quite easy because there's only two different algorithms that you have to memorize. And quite honestly, they aren't that bad. They're only about eight moves long each, and they are relatively similar. So in solving the second layer, you're going to want to look for four different centers. That would be this one, the yellow, this one, the orange, this one, the white, this one, the red. Now, it's going to be different for every time you solve the cube because, for instance, you may not start with the green side. You may start with the white side, but you're just going to want to keep track of these four centers and in that case it would be the four that I just listed also you want to be cognizant of the colors that are on all the edges you don't want to see any colors that have blue on it so for instance, this is a good edge piece this is going to go into the center and not the center uh, the middle layer but this piece won't because it's got blue and blue has to go on top so this piece does not go into any of these four so your first corner to do, you're going to want to find an appropriate edge piece. And looking around the cube, here's one, the one that I just pointed out, the white and red. And it's a good one because you know that here's the white, here's the red. It doesn't have any blue on it, so you know that it has to go right here. Now, you might just wonder, well, if I turn it like this, then it's in. But however, you screwed up what you did over here. Now you ruined the first layer. You don't want to do that. You want to do this algorithm that I'm just about to tell you to prevent anything from happening to this bottom layer. At the same time, it's going to input this edge piece right here where it has to go. Now, there's two different algorithms, and that's going. there's one for sending an edge piece to the right and one for sending the edge piece to the left. In this case, it's going to be sent to the right. So, what you're first going to do before you start the algorithm, you're going to want to make sure that it's lined up appropriately where it has to go. So there are the two colors on here, is the white and the red. Whatever color is facing you, you're going to want to line up with the appropriate center. So for instance, here is the red and the white. It's lined up with the white, and you know it has to go to the right because red is to the right. So here's the algorithm that you're going to do for sending an edge piece over here to the right. And that's going to be these following moves up, right, up inverted, right inverted, front, right inverted, front inverted, right. And you can see that we did not mess anything up down here, and we also input the edge from here over to here. So let's take a look for another case. Ah, here's the one where you have to go to the left. So you see here we have orange and yellow, here's orange and here's yellow. And we know it has to go to the left, because when it's lined up appropriately with the color that's facing us, in this case orange, we know that the yellow has to go here, and yellow is to the left. So, in order to do this, it's literally the exact same algorithm that we just did, except the opposite of the moves stated. So, for instance, if I did an up, it's going to be an up inverted. If I did a right, it's going to be a left inverted, so forth and so on. So... I also suggest you have your notebook out because you're going to want to write this algorithm down as well. It also needs to be memorized. So, here are the following moves. Up inverted, left inverted, up, left, front inverted, left, front, left inverted. And you can see that you just moved the piece that was here to the left without uh, destroying anything that you did on the bottom. So with those two algorithms in mind, you can go ahead and solve for the remaining two uh, middle layer edges. And last one. And the middle layer is now complete. You may now move on to the final tutorial, which will teach you how to solve the top layer. 